Welcome Vintage Hollywood Archive Zsa, Zsa Gabor was the reality star queen during Hollywood's golden age, decades before the Kardashian cult of popularity for the sake of celebrity was formed. In the days before selfie sticks, she and the rest of the world may have been blissfully unconscious of their designation. But the bold, blonde Hungarian actress and socialite, who is better known for her nine marriages, toured relationships, fur-lined attire, and throatily whispered catchphrase, Da Link, than for her profession didn't need Instagram's help to build a dazzling A-list reputation. Her stardom far outstripped her B-list filmography, and the most important role she ever performed was unquestionably herself. How Zsa, Zsa Gabor survived the world of straitjackets and shock treatments. Kindly like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel before we go on. If you are new to this community, then that subscribe button is all for you. Zsa, Zsa Gabor, the queen of torrid relationships. Zsa, Zsa and her brothers were nurtured for the role of celebrity. Zsa, Zsa Gabor, the second daughter of a soldier and his jewelry heiress wife, Vilmos and Jolie Gabor. Rumor had it that her mother operated a Budapest brothel, desired to be a veterinarian. Her mother, on the other hand, was not having it. The sisters were transported to acting, dancing, singing, and fencing sessions at private schools. Zsa, Zsa was discovered by vocalist Richard Tober on a trip to Vienna in 1934 and offered a part in an operetta, her first on-stage appearance. She has crowned Miss Hungary in 1936. She married for the first time a year later to Turkish thinker Burhan Asaf Belgi. In 1941, the couple divorced. Zsa Zsa's parents divorced as well, and the actress, her sisters, and her Jewish mother immigrated to America on the eve of World War II. Magda started a career in radio, while Eva found work on television. Zsa, Zsa on the other hand, became the most famous, or infamous, of the group. In 1952, she made her film debut in the musical Lovely to Look At. Then came a role in Moulin Rouge. She appeared in 14 films throughout that decade, including the cult classic Queen of Outer Space, in which she played a barely clothed Venusian character. A horrible film that keeps popping up, she described it. Her personal life, though, was what made her famous. Before Paris Hilton, there was her step-great-grandmother, a stunning beauty who married nine times and amassed a multi-million dollar fortune, as well as a lot of media attention along the way. The elegantly dressed woman was driving through the palm fringe streets of Beverly Hills in a sleek white Rolls Royce when she heard the wail of a police siren behind her and pulled over to the cop. As the traffic cop peered through the window, she cooed, Is there a problem, darling? She handed him her driver's license and sat impatiently for a few moments, growing irritated, before slamming her foot on the accelerator and speeding away. Two blocks later, the surprised police officer caught up with her and dragged her out of the car in an unceremonious manner. What are you doing? screamed the woman. This is completely insane. She then slapped him across the face. Zsa, Zsa Gabor was the only person who could spin an ordinary drive into international news. The infamous cop slapping episode in June 1989 sparked a media frenzy and firmly reinstated the irrepressible actress and socialite in her most cherished position, center stage. She wore black Valentino, she didn't want to look too heavy on camera, and her usual diamonds to her headline grabbing trial and had two hairstylists waiting nervously in the wings. At one point during the trial, the infamous self-publicist and Paris Hilton's step-great-grandmother used her self-described, uniquely Hungarian ability for melodrama and self-dramatization, and stormed out of the courtroom in a rage. Gabor dismissed the humiliation as another good chapter for my book, after being sensationally sentenced to days in prison. Zsa, Zsa Gabor is regarded as one of the first celebrities in Hollywood to be famous for being famous. Finding Zsa, Zsa the Gabors behind the legend, a new biography about the late Hungarian-born socialite and her famous family by Sam Staggers, contends that Zsa, Zsa was more than her numerous spouses, diamonds, and sarcastic comments. Staggs, a Hollywood biographer, and Gabor family acquaintance dives into Zsa Zsa's private life and gets an intimate look at some of her most high-profile scandals, including her divorce from hotelier Conrad Hilton and her stay in a sanitarium. 
She was married nine times and was noted for her self-deprecating wit. I'm a fantastic housekeeper, she once boasted. Every time I get a divorce, I keep the house. Zsa, Zsa began enchanting audiences as soon as she emigrated to the United States from war-torn Europe. She appeared in films such as Orson Welles' Touch of Evil and the science fiction film Queen of Outer Space, and she became a regular on TV talk programs. Her family members, including Sister Eva from Green Acres, Sister Magda, and matchmaker mother Jolie, were all equally captivating. This famed family's cliches appear invincible, but I'm hoping to have pierced two of the most ridiculous. The first is that they were famous for the sake of being famous, says Staggs in the book, which was launched. On the contrary, the Gabors became famous because they worked at it and their careers every hour and every day for nearly a century. The other ridiculous concept is that they predicted the Kardashians and others of that ilk, he continues. This one is fed by individuals who know nothing about the Gabors and know too much about the Ks, none of whom have the sophistication, composure, or know-how of an Eva or a Zsa Zsa. Zsa, Zsa and her family endured tremendous hardships during World War II. Although Zsa, Zsa and Eva were residing in the United States, their family was in Budapest when the Germans attacked. According to the book, Zsa, Zsa had nightmares about what would happen to her family. I saw every member of my family tormented and was afraid of what would happen to them. According to Staggs, the sisters visited powerful persons in Washington, D.C. in 1944, looking for anyone who may provide a sliver of hope. Meanwhile, their mother, father, and sister all survived. Other family members did not. Jolie and Magda finally made it to the United States. Her grandmother refused to leave Hungary because so many of her family were there, and her son Sebastian Tillman would not leave without her, says Staggs. They were both killed by gunshots. Conrad Hilton married Zsa, Zsa a 30-year younger woman, against his better judgment in 1942. Conrad was drawn to her joy, but they didn't share a bedroom, and according to the book, he kept his wife, a lover of the better things, on a budget. He was Paris Hilton's great-grandfather, an irony missed on Zsa, Zsa who once mocked Paris saying, she's dumb, she does far too much for the sake of exposure. Francesca Hilton, her only child with Hilton, went on to become an actress. However, Zsa, Zsa once claimed that the child was the result of an abuse and the two women had a tense relationship. While waiting for news concerning her family, Zsa, Zsa fought with sadness. Hilton had just two hobbies in life, his faith and Hilton hotels, according to the book, so she lacked self-confidence even as she indulged in spending sprees. After the divorce in 1947, Zsa, Zsa gave birth to their daughter, Conrad didn't think Francesca was his daughter, even though his name appeared on her birth certificate, according to Staggs in Finding Zsa, Zsa Francesca was forever affected by Conrad's distance, according to the author, who knew her. Conrad left Francesca barely $100,000 from his fortune when he died in 1979, donating the remainder of his wealth to charity. According to Forbes, he was valued at almost $200 million at the time. Francesca also had a tumultuous relationship with her mother, which lasted until her death in January 2015 at the age of 67. Staggs argues in Finding Zsa, Zsa that the actress suffered from bipolar disorder. Her relatives had her admitted to a sanitarium, where she was subjected to torturous insulin shock treatments. How shall I explain the terror of the coming weeks, days, and nights, as well as the horrors that Dante may have concocted? In her memoir, Zsa, Zsa wrote, I lived in a world of straitjackets, insulin shock treatments, and endless injections, and the constant horrifying realization that no one would ever listen to me, even though I saw what was going on and saw and heard and comprehended the immensity of what was going on. No one came to see me, Conrad, Eva, or anyone else. I felt completely abandoned and rejected. Details about Zsa Zsa's marriages and lovers abound in Staggs' book, from a chaste romance with the president of Turkey and an affair with her director, to allegations of abusive boyfriends. Zsa Zsa's desire that her third ex-husband, actor George Saunders, marry her sister Magda is one of the most stunning stories of all. When Zsa, Zsa learned that her ex-roommate was seeking a wife, she came up with the ideal way to keep George in the family, according to Staggs. Magda had a lot of money. According to the book, Zsa, Zsa told George, she is tremendously lonely and so are you. You're going to need each other, and you're going to be able to help each other. Zsa Zsa's relationship with her last spouse, Prince Frederick von Anhalt, 
who was 27 years her junior, is compared to a Daniel Steele novel or port TV soap. According to the book, Zsa, Zsa was estranged from her family, and when she became ill, Frederick gained control of her fortune. Francesca and Frederick had a lot of disagreements about Zsa, Zsa's finances and care before she died. According to probate court documents acquired by People, all of the late socialites' assets were consolidated under a trust, of which Frederick is the only trustee in 2017. In response to the book's charges, Frederick told that Zsa, Zsa married him for protection. Zsa, Zsa's ninth husband said that until her death, he was the one who looked after her health and best interests. Frederick also claimed that Francesca had a strained relationship with her mother, citing a 2005 lawsuit against her. According to the Los Angeles Times, Frederick sued his stepdaughter on behalf of himself and Zsa, Zsa saying she forged her mother's signature to take out a $2 million loan using Zsa, Zsa's $14 million home as collateral. According to Forbes, Francesca contended that she had her mother's approval to take out the loan, with the understanding that the funds would be used to refinance the home and keep it from going into default. After Zsa, Zsa refused to appear in court, the complaint was subsequently dismissed. In 2007, Frederick sparked yet another controversy when he openly claimed to be the father of Anna Nicole Smith's baby girl, Daniellen Burkhead. His allegation was eventually proven to be erroneous by DNA tests. In 1986, Zsa, Zsa told People, You know, the instant a man is awful, I fall in love with him. I always marry horrible men, she says. It's a disease, my disease. The worse they say they are, the more I am drawn to them. That is the tragedy of my life. Diva Zsa, Zsa who died of a heart attack in her Bel Air mansion, was a woman steeped in mythology, and if rumors are to be believed, Evian. She had flings with guys ranging from Richard Nixon to Sean Connery, and carried her Shih Tzu puppies to parties and fed them hot dogs. She has a closet filled with 5,000 beautiful clothing. There was also the femme fatale image, which she exploited with scathing wit. You mean apart from my own? She answered when asked how many husbands she's had. I've never loathed a man enough to return his gems, she deadpanned. How do you manage to keep your husband? Another famous statement was, shoot him in the legs. The confirmation that she was 99 would be the one aspect of the deluge of obscenities that have followed her death that she would despise the most. She was, in reality, two months shy of 100. Because her age was a complete fabrication, Sari Gabor was born on February 6, 1917, in Budapest, Hungary, according to records. But before Zsa, Zsa a family moniker, confirmed it, hell would have frozen over. She reported her birth year as 1930, when she married her final spouse, Frederick Prinz von Anhalt, on 1986, making her seven years old at the time. Cindy Adams, a biographer and friend of Zsa, Zsa's mother, Angelina Jolie, said of Zsa, Zsa that her renowned sisters, Magda and Eva, that they have always lived with no realism. There was never any truth to anything. Frederick Prinz von Anhalt, 30 years her junior, was the one who cared for her until the end. Princess Marie Auguste of Anhalt adopted him as an adult in 1980. He then confessed to having an affair with Anna Nicole Smith. Do whatever you want, Zsa, Zsa allegedly urged him, but don't bring them inside my house. Zsa, Zsa was known for having extramarital affairs. There was Richard Nixon, who she claimed set her up with Henry Kissinger and Sean Connery, who she described as having velvety soft skin. Then there's Richard Burton, who liked to talk nasty, and Frank Sinatra, whom she despised and slept with only because he wouldn't move his car out of her driveway unless she did. Due to ailing health, Zsa, Zsa faded from the spotlight in later years. She was left in a wheelchair following a vehicle accident in 2002, had a stroke in 2005, and underwent a hip replacement in 2010 after a tumble. Her leg was amputated in 2011 owing to infection, and she afterward went to the hospital with high blood pressure after learning of her friend Elizabeth Taylor's death. Dementia is thought to have taken a hold as well. In a 2007 Vanity Fair interview, Zsa, Zsa was described as dressed in Chanel, yet confined to a canopy for a poster. After a few minutes, she sent the journalist packing. She wants people to remember her as she was years ago, her husband explained. There's no larger aphrodisiac than power, Zsa, Zsa famously remarked. She was afraid that her looks had given her power, but she didn't have to be concerned. Her invention, the Zsa, Zsa was ageless. 
But Zsa Zsa Gabor was not the only woman in Hollywood who had extreme relationships with men. Hedy Lamarr had a lot to tell you about this. Why Hedy Lamarr decided to kiss any men for $25,000? Watch this video and get the details.